and welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing something on the 6.0 truck I probably should have done a while ago, and that is install this. This is the water fuel separator bolt. The stock one is a uh, Allen key style head, and if you don't uh, loosen it up and drain the water out of your fuel periodically, that plug can seize into the um, horizontal fuel conditioning module housing and that Allen key just doesn't really cut it to get it out of there. So this is the solution. It actually has that big ol' uh, bolt head, six-sided six head on it, and uh, that'll make it a lot easier to pull out in the future if it does seize, but it's also big enough that you can just use your hands to unscrew it. And there's actually some versions of this where it's just round and it's designed for you to unscrew it by hand and then tighten it back in by hand and go for go from there but um, really this should be uh, drained periodically and uh, it shouldn't even really get seized up so uh, let's go outside and uh, see how badly seized mine is and go ahead and put this in okay so here's where we're at we're under the truck um, pretty much under the driver's side door this is the four-wheel drive front drive shaft there's the fuel conditioning module aka your fuel pump and got the Allen in there and this is a six millimeter Allen Allen key I don't know if it'll focus on that or not probably not but uh, six millimeter Allen key stuck that in there mine was actually pretty tight but fortunately it's not rounded out or anything so I just put the Allen key in there I got a nine millimeter deep socket with an extension stuck it on there now I have some leverage and just turn it like that and I believe on two-wheel drive trucks this is a lot easier because you don't have a big old drive shaft in the way but you gotta do what you gotta do so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that and uh, put the new one in. All right, here's what I had to do. I had to cut this thing off. I believe this will only fit if you have a two wheel drive truck. My front drive shaft was just way too close to get it to fit. Um, my drive shaft's like maybe that far from the fuel pump. So I'm gonna try going ahead and going with this cutoff piece and just screw it in there. But um, one thing to note is once you take the old plug out, it's just going to start dumping diesel fluid, uh, diesel fuel. So uh, make sure you have your, your diesel raincoats and uh, be sure you act quick. Pull the old one out, pop this one in as fast as you can. All right, and here it is all done. Um, I believe you can put it in snug if you have really strong fingers. But uh, if you want to put a little bit extra torque on it, uh, go ahead and grab a wrench and give it a final tighten. Once you have it in, give it a few cycles of the key just to get all the air out of the system. You can see it's building there. This is actually the second key cycle, so it'll take uh, one or two or maybe three to get it where you need to be. And we'll do one more. Yep, and that's about normal. Looks good in here. Um, I'm gonna go under the truck and make sure that plug is not leaking. So here's the old plug. And you can see that it has some rust on it. Now this is probably the first time I've actually removed this plug since I've owned the truck, so about 10,000 miles or so. But yeah, you can definitely see there was some rust buildup on there. And that's not a good thing. You want to separate that water fairly often. You want to get that water out so it doesn't cause rust and so it doesn't um, get further up your fuel system because diesel is actually a lubricant. They call it diesel oil sometimes. And that diesel oil 
lubricates your injectors and you don't want any water in there. I mean, the 6.0 in injectors are kind of touchy as it is. You want to keep them um, as happy as possible. So yeah, just go ahead and take out your drain plug and drain the water out. But be careful when you do it. Uh, my arm is uh, pretty well coated with diesel right now and it uh, feels kind of weird because diesel doesn't evaporate like gas. So there you go, a little quick video on the water separator plug on your horizontal fuel conditioning module or HFCM or just fuel pump. Uh, go ahead and drain it every now and then. Some people say like every oil change or every other oil change, just crack it open a little bit, let the water drain out. Um, I think more humid places, you're gonna have more moisture in your fuel tank, uh, drier places like Arizona or you know just places like the desert like New Mexico probably don't have it um, as badly, but I would still suggest draining your uh, your uh, water out of your fuel just to be on the safe side. It's fairly easy, especially with this new upgraded plug. Uh, I can just take it out by hand, put it back in by hand, and it holds tight, no leaks. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it, sub to the channel, and I will see you later.